Hello and thanks again for joining me for another episode of Kenshi with my Skeletons Only Freedom Seekers run. So uh, in the last episode we started expanding our base a little bit more and we started researching the semi-automatic drill. So I did do a bit off camera and we got that upgraded so it only needs one person to run it now. Uh, Cogs has been working over here on the building materials. He's almost filled up our crate. Uh, we don't need him to continuously work that. So I've put in a second robotics bench and we're going to get him working on that. And uh, that brings us up to where we are now. And we have a slave raid on the way. And I'm not sure, I think that's this little dot here. So we are just going to keep an eye out. Yeah, we don't have, we don't have enough repair beds for everybody. So I don't know if our repair bed tactic will work. Uh, let me just see, I don't know if we can get one up and running before they arrive. Skeleton repair bed. So now that we have a sad new home, we are one one repair bed short. Uh, let's see if we can get that built in time. Don't know how long these guys are gonna take to get here. Pretty sure they're going to come from this direction. And uh, they do mean business. Look at these guys. Outlaws. Uh, a bunch of dead thrall over here. Okay, who are these guys? Okay, so these are slavers, but that does not look anywhere near a big enough group, what we're expecting. So these slave raids, they, uh, they are not the normal ones that, are, that just wander around. They are targeting us specifically. Let's have a look on the map. Yes, yeah, see there's a dot way out here. I think that's them. Uh, all right, so if we get this bed up and running, then maybe we'll use the bed tactic. So Sad Neil has just come home and he has barely any combat skills whatsoever. Alright, so just keep an eye on these guys. What is this short of? Electrical components. Um, what are you doing? Okay, you're trying to build a lamppost in there and you can't reach it. Let's uh, cancel that. Get you building this. Let's watch out for a big group of slavers. There's a little group over there, and I'm pretty sure that's not the raid. Okay, we did get our bed up and running, so I think maybe we will, uh, who are these guys? These are slavers, but this is not the, uh, it's not the, the group. It's 
it's not the group we're expecting. Uh, let's just have a look at these guys. So these are slave traders. Yeah, then they're, they're not the ones we're waiting for. Ah, uh, this looks like them over here, this big group here. So we are not really going to be able to hold them off, I don't think. So we're going to grab everybody. Going to turn jobs off. Uh, let's go block, hold, passive. Let's get everybody into a bed. Now, sometimes, now I have done this before um, using this tactic with everybody in a bed, but on sneak and I've completely bypassed the raid altogether because they've come in and they just didn't see us anywhere. But we'll see. Okay, so they're going to fight the... Uh, they're going to fight the people that are here already. These, uh, these smugglers. They do tend to have a pretty good track record of uh, escaping and coming back. They are pretty tough. They're going to fight their those guys first but they will take and lock up quite a few of them I don't know if they're going to actually come up here they're coming inside but they're not coming upstairs we could try to lure them up maybe alright Let's see. No. All right. Upstairs. Don't know if they're going to come upstairs or not. They uh, keep coming in the building. Oh, we've got two of them. Let's, uh... Okay. Alright, so this is a, a good way of uh, getting some toughness up. Pretty sure... Yeah, because I've got everyone on on uh, hold and passive, they should not get out of their bed. Pretty short. Well, bolts did. Okay. Bolts. Please get back in your bed. Alright. Uh, bolts. Get in your bed. Alright. Okay. So, we survived that raid. These guys are still around. Let's uh, see. Sad Neil should have got a little bit of his toughness up. He did. Alright. So, we'll make sure these guys are... All fully healed. Wait for these guys to kind of wander off. Because I think they will still sort of uh, try and have a go at us. Alright. 
Oh, it's going to run off. Okay. All right. Nuts is okay. Let's put you on sneak. Can go back to your job, maybe. So I think these are the normal slavers. I don't think they're going to touch us. Oils. Go back on your job. We'll put you on sneak as well. Uh, cogs, you're fully healed. Springs. Bolts. Sad Neil. And old rust. Okay, now that long coat there belonged to uh, belonged to one of the uh, one of the smugglers, but it's ours now. And all these boots belong to the smugglers as well. But, uh, Looks like the uh, the slavers did take a bunch of these guys away with them. Let's collect those up. All right, so we do have a smuggler still here. Let's uh, have a look inside. Out in here. Alright, there's another one. That one's okay. Who's this? A slaver guard. Okay, well, definitely gonna loot him. That smuggler's fine. Alright. So we do have some stuff to sell off. Currently our local shop is out of cash. Uh, we could give that to Sad Neil maybe. Um, what's his gear like? Yeah, maybe that's better. I mean... That does give... Uh, it does give some leg coverage, but uh, it also weighs a lot more, so maybe we'll pop that away. Let's pop that in there, pop that in there, we've got one of these little, another one of these little bags, pop that in there. Uh, let's have another look around here don't know that uh, they left much more for us all right can have your job back on for a minute yeah who is this that's the traders guild One lone guard on his own from the Traders Guild. Let's check all these guys, see if any of them are shackled. They don't appear to be. Alright, what's going on over here? These are the slavers. They are fighting with the Traders Guild by the look of it. Just keep an eye on those guys. Yeah, 
here. They're not coming back in a hurry. I don't think that they're going to have a nice bounty of slaves to take back home with them. Okay. So, uh, let me see. We are going to take a trip to Flats Lagoon. Uh, we're going to take oils and old rust. Oils, let me look at your stuff. You can grab an extra... Well, you're not in range, so you can come up here. And actually, let's take these jobs off. You can come up here. Alright. You can take an extra repair kit with you. Now, old rust can come down here. Now, yeah, wait, who are these guys? Okay, these are slavers. We will keep an eye on them. They should leave us alone. But you never know, sometimes they turn on us. Alright, so I want, let me see, one, two. Alright, let's put that back. Let's change backpacks. Can I reach my backpacks from here? Yep. Let's take trader's backpack. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pop that one here. Uh, let's come over to the iron plate storage. I want one, two, three, four, five. Still got good run speed. Uh, I don't need that. I think that's all I need. Get my job off. All right. So these two are going to come for a run down here. Uh, about here, I think it is. Let's take. Sneak off. Uh, actually, let us make sure these guys are running together. All right. So, down here, hopefully we are fast enough to outrun anything along the way. So we're going to Flats Lagoon, which is another place that does have sometimes some ancient science books for sale. So hopefully we'll get some there. But I'm uh, also going to set up a little operation over there and uh, see how that works out. So we haven't started doing any uh, weapon or armor smithing yet do have a little plan, it's a bit of an experiment, we have big things over there behind us, uh, watch out for those guys, there is a this sort of abandoned outpost over here which does have quite a lot of stuff, a skeleton repair kit there actually, let's uh let's take that, uh, yeah, a normal book, why not? There's a few things here that we could, uh, that we could take. 
It's another skeleton repair kit. We'll take that. You know, I mean, all of this stuff is usable, but uh, yeah, we don't really need any of that ourselves right now. So let's keep moving. And we do have... It looked like somebody was giving chase. It's like we have lost them though. So we're going to cruise over... Is over here. There's a little outpost out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, it is a good place to get skins. So I'm going to set up a bit of an experimentational sort of uh, operation that uh, hopefully we can sort of keep at least partly automated. Now we'll start getting oils trained up in some armor smithing. Let's just uh, make sure these guys don't stray too far away from each other. Keep our eye out for beak things and and uh, other critters around here. So I believe there are some wolves and a few other things, but uh, we're almost there. Took a second for the took a second for the place to render in. All right, so oils, you're going to just. Uh, and just stand here, I guess. Uh, we're going to come in here. Now, yeah, one of these buildings here. It's this one, I think. Yeah. All right, we can buy this one. It's 4,000. It's the only one we can buy here. It's pretty small. Doesn't need any fixing up. It's ready to go. All right, so. Going to in a leather tanning bench and uh, going to pop that in this corner right here yep there uh, we are going to go storage. We are going to put in a storage for skins. Yeah. So uh, get you working on that. And turn your job on so that you actually engineer. Okay, so we have some uh, some wolves here. So come upstairs, get some help. All right, well, the guards took care of them pretty easily. So, oils. We are going to... We're going to right-click there. We're going to hold down shift. And we're going to go loot. And that is going to put foraging animals in our task. Once they've finished repairing themselves, then uh, oils is going to start... Uh, foraging some animals.
Okay. Uh, we are going to put in the meat storage right next to this one. Like so. Uh, let's see. We are going to put in put in two of these uh, leather storage. Like so. Okay, so I was coming back to drop off stuff. And he's actually dropped it straight into there. We're now going to set his next job to leather tanning. All right. Um, all right, so we have skins, meat, leather, leather. We are going to put in a food storage. So he's going to automatically forage the meat anyway. So we will pop that there. And probably don't really need it, but I'm going to put in an armor storage. Uh, let's see. Weapons cabinet, maybe. All right. Weapons cabinet there. Armor storage, just for loot, really. Might not be that much, but we'll pop it in there anyway. Uh, let me see. We fit in a general storage. Can just... Uh, let me see. Alright, let's get you building those. Now, let's pop you on sneak. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to try... Let's see, we put a campfire here, does that give you light? Not really, okay, doesn't matter, uh, we're going to have you, actually let's auto hole to the campfire. And then use the tanning bench. All right. And he's going to cook that meat. Should store it when it's ready. Maybe. Perhaps not. Now yeah, he will. Okay. So. Quite often get uh, a few different animals. There's wolves and there's uh, some, some bat creatures. There's a beak thing there. 
Okay. Let's go and loot that. Actually, we'll get oils to loot that. So, if they're close enough, then uh, oils will automatically automatically loot any dead creatures that are out here. We may sometimes need to uh, send him back inside. We'll send him back outside every now and then. Uh, but you quite often get, uh, there's quite often some animals that will come right up here like this. And they will be in range and he should automatically loot those. But let's have a look. I mean, we've got uh, a few skins there. He's got skins on him. So... Get him started, and uh, it's already up to five armor smithing just from that little bit. So maybe, maybe it might have been better putting uh, putting this down this end. In fact, maybe I will do that. Uh, let's pop that in there. Let's pull this out of here and dismantle that. Pick these up. Uh, let me see. Uh, I don't think it gave me all of my iron plates back, though. Which is a bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, let me see. Crafting... Leather tanning bench. Yep, it didn't didn't give me all my plates back, so I'm not going to be able to uh, get this built. But I figure if it's in that corner, he's a bit closer to the outside, and uh, he might actually uh, might Okay, um, but problem is, we are short on iron plates by one, and they don't sell any here, so old Rust is going to have to run back and get another iron plate. Uh, what I will do though, uh, let me just check, so I've got three building materials on me. So I'm going to put in a shop counter. In here. Like so. And what we can do. That's a lot of meat. Let's uh, turn your job off for a sec. And we can just transfer all this. I mean, there are shops here. But... We'll be able to transfer all this meat into this shop counter. Old Rust, are you building that? What do you mean you don't have building materials? You had three on you. It takes four. All right, miscalculation on my part. Okay. All right, so I'm going to have to 
try and hunt down. Let's just have a look. That's a bar. Uh, let's just see. Yeah, we do have... Okay. Let's uh, join in on this battle. These land bats, these are a source of... Uh, a source of meat and skins. And that's getting oils automatically to work. See, they come right up here, and from there, only we uh, mucked up. Yeah, that's not locked. Let's uh, close this. Let's see. Hacksaw ceramic bowl. That's no good. Let's have a look over here. This one, is that locked? It's not locked. Let's hop in here. Cup and a wrench. Not what I'm after. Alright, I don't think these guys have any building materials or any iron plates. Nope. Uh, what do we got here? Nothing. Let's try the bar, but I doubt it. Might have to run all the way back. So uh, just see. No on plates. No building materials. Try this guy. Hats completely useless to uh, skeletons. Pretty sure this guy doesn't have any either. So, uh, we'll try. But uh, this, I believe, is where we can get uh, some ancient science books. We can also get some maps. What have we got on us? 40k. Uh, let's buy those. Um, let's sell that. Make sure that we do have enough cash on us. For, uh, for the Traders Guild when they rock up. Let's have a look in here. It's a bar as well, so I don't like my chances of these guys having any. Uh, we need one building material and one iron plate. Another. Alright. Okay, well, you know what? Uh, let me see. Instead of going all the way home, I think it was this way station. Let's uh, head over there. That's where all those, all that stuff was. See if there's see if we can pick up an iron plate and a building material there. It's only halfway home instead of all the way. There's not really a lot of places to mine out here. One or two, one or two spots around, but not, not real close to uh, to Flats Lagoon. Yeah, 
And I'm being chased. Should be able to outrun him. But will we have time to pick up stuff? Now, yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, don't want to go in there right now. See if we can make it over there. Okay. We are going to hold down Alt. Iron plates, building material, guy on his own, not exactly, alright, I could pick up more but I'm not gonna, we only needed the one of each. All right, let's bring this stuff back. These guys are still in full pursuit. Wait, there's a whole bunch more. There is a lot of those guys. A lot of those guys. And you would think because we're skeletons, you'd think uh, they wouldn't be automatically uh, automatically aggro to us. But they are. They have their reasons, I guess. And a bit of a swim. Looks like we do have traders over here. Probably could have bought building materials off them. Doesn't matter though. Alright, so your job is on, so you should automatically get onto that. This oil, so you can come down here. If there's anything to scavenge, you will scavenge it. Alright. Alright, so I need to reset that. Did get our shop counter done? Alright, let's uh, try this again. Yeah, I could just sell this stuff in the shop, but it's Bit of an experiment to see if it does sell there. Alright, so got a ton of skins already. Couple of leathers. Uh, his armor smithing is already up to six and it's going up quite quickly. So Old Russ, I think, can head home. And we'll just check in on oils from time to time. Send him outside every now and then. Do some looting. 
that uh, that is experimental. Have not tested that uh, method. Like, you know, in a really sort of thorough way. We'll see how it goes. So we'll get uh, old Russ back home and uh, check on uh, what we've, what our production's going like over there with bolts, crossbow bolts, uh, actually. How is, so we've got bolts making the bolts and crossbow smithing is getting up there. Um, maybe we could get a weapon smith up and running. I would like to find a blueprint for cleavers. We that group almost got us. Uh, has got some hits in on us. And we're stuck in a loading screen. Did get some hits in. But iron spiders as well. Alright, let's just pop sneak on to see if we are still visible. We are. So we'll keep running. I'm not going to stop and heal here. Try now. No, we are still still in sight. Let's try now. Okay, let's uh, do some repairs real quickly. Do have a bit of wear and tear, so we might hop in the bed when we get back home. So uh, anyway, that is probably going to do it for this episode. So if you did enjoy this episode, then uh, please leave me a like or a comment down below. If you'd like to see more, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.